Alright guys, so today I'll be showing you how to create this interesting abstract cubes effect in Blender. By the way, sorry if my mic cuts out again. But again, I don't have the best microphone in the world, so again, apologies if that happens. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, so here we got a default scene. First thing we're going to do is delete everything except for the default cube. Yes, we are keeping the default cube. Alright, so just scale this up. It's gigantic. It's going to need to be super tall. Now since it's really big, so we're just going to scale this down. It's still like 4 meters tall, so it's huge. Something like this should work. And don't forget to apply the scale afterwards. So next, um, move it to the side and duplicate it. So now we're going to give this two materials. The first material we're going to give it is a blue material. And we're going to make another material. have to be blue and purple. You can do whatever colors you like, by the way. Alright, so we're going to get the blue material, blue color, purple material, purple color, you know, the drill. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is set up my render settings. You can use Eevee if you like. I'm going to use Cycle since, in my opinion, it gives slightly better results. Okay, so now I'm going to switch into rendered view, grab a sun lamp, I can just rotate it so it's generally pointing at our little cube tower things. Also, we'll maybe change the strength up a little bit. This so next thing we're going to do is add a floor. Let's add this cube, fill up something big. Next thing we're going to do is add our uh, displacement plane. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. First thing we're going to do, since we're going to need these in the particle system later, we're going to move these to a new collection and call it particles. So we can just hide this collection for now. So for now, let's deal with this little plane down here. First thing we're going to do is give it a subdivision surface modifier and change it to simple. Turn up the amount of subdivisions to something like four, and that should work out fine. Next thing we're going to do is use a displace modifier and add a texture, then go to the texture editing tab and select clouds as your displacement type. Now you can see you get this really ridiculously bumpy texture, so let's change the scale up to something like this until it looks pretty good. You can also play around with the strength of the displacement modifier. Just going to change this around a bit. But yeah, generally this looks uh, pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is add a particle system, go to hair and check advanced, and then we're going to go down to the render tab and we're going to render as a collection. Now select your particles collection. You can see, they're all down there, really tiny, so let's scale these up. Something like one should work fine. And you see they're all crazily rotated everywhere, so check object rotation. Then uh, unhide your particle collection, then rotate them 90 degrees along the Y. You can see they're kind of all sticking up everywhere, but this is what we want so far. So next thing we're going to do is enable rotation, and under the orientation axis, instead of velocity hair, we're going to use global Z. Now they're all sticking straight up. Also, this is a lot of cubes, so I'm going to change the number down to something like 400. But you can get a cool effect if you change it to something really big, like 10,000. You get this like really cool mountain effect, I don't know how to describe it. That could be cool as well. So I'm gonna hot unhide everything else and just move this up a bit. And you know what? These cubes, uh, you can see to get all these cubes protruding from the ground, you can still see uh, the floor. Uh, where these emit from. So you can just fix this by going to the render settings and uncheck show emitter. You don't want to do this for the viewport as well otherwise that'll be showing up in the viewport. So this works now and you can't see that at all. I'm also going to change the scale to like 1.5 because I still feel like they're a bit small. Now if we switch to render view you can see that it's working. Now let's set up a material for this floor. Let's just make a quick floor material. 
get it and make it a bit darker. Oops, not that dark. Make it a bit darker, change up the metallic, and probably change the roughness to something around 0.3. Add a camera. You can use a perspective camera, but I'm going to use an orthographic camera for this one because it goes along a bit better with the geometric feel of it. So control alt zero to snap the camera to your view and just grab it around. So it looks about good. You can also just zoom with the orthographic scale. So let's see how this looks. Looks pretty and not bad. Next thing we're going to do is we can probably adjust the sun angle to look a little bit nicer from camera view. Something like that from the other side. Actually, you know what? I like this one more. So anyways, you can play around with a bit more lighting. I'm going to add area light. Grab this, rotate it, change this up to like 100, and give it a blue color. So we have a blue effect here. You can duplicate this again, rotate it, and move it right up behind here. Just change the purple and give also some other cool effects. And you can just play around with lighting until it looks good. Another thing you might want to do is change the world background all the way to black. Next thing we're going to add is a bit of depth of field. So enable depth of field, and to see where your focus is, we're going to enable limits. And you can see we have these crosshairs right here, and that basically shows you where you're focusing. So now if you just bring in the distance about till you're focusing on these cubes, if you go into camera view, you can see that's right where you're focusing. So this depth of field is really heavy right now, so I'm going to change it to something like 5. And that looks pretty good. So you can play around with other compositions, you can play around with more lighting, change the f-stop for the depth of field. But yeah, this is how you get these cubes to be abstract. I hope that thee has enjoyed that tutorial. As usual, you can find links to thy blend files in the description below. Have fun creating, I have to return to thy castle before night falls. I bid you farewell, my traveler.